So there's another concept called elemental mass equilibrium and stellar metamorphosis. Basically, it means the amount of um, hydrogen, its mass percentage will, um, how, or how much mass there is, will match the amount of mass that is the equivalent amount of mass in another element, such as iron. And I have a graph here. So you have the young stars with lots of hydrogen, mostly hydrogen. And as they lose the hydrogen, they gain iron. And it moves up in iron. So old dead stars like Mercury have a lot more iron than hydrogen. And young stars similar to the sun or even hotter like O type stars have a lot of hydrogen. I just have a lot of words here. I'll link this to the bottom. And for those, I mean, for those people who don't know how all this is coming to be, it's a very simple thing here. This isn't a very complex. You have well, what I would consider is conceptual bridges. So you'll have something like the sun and the earth. And naturally, you look at those two objects and you think, oh, wow, they're so different. And with astronomy and astrophysics, what they do is they make a conceptual wall. They separate the two. So, sun, then there's a wall, then you have the earth. And the two are completely different objects. There's nothing relating either of them together. But the truth is that the reason why I'm able to design ideas such as mass equilibrium is that I take the conceptual bridge or the conceptual bridge and connect the two together. Basically, I take what both have in common with each other and draw conclusions based off of how they would change over time. Which means we should be finding a lot of objects that are a lot like the sun, a lot like the earth, and some properties of in between both objects, a little more to the sun and a little more to the earth and everything in between. It's as simple as that. And that's what they're finding with these exoplanets. I think it's very easy to design this theory, though it's very time consuming and it takes a lot of work. But all in all, it's getting done slowly and sure.